Hello everyone, I'm Edward Morrow and I will be showing the tools called OSF Mount and Recover. I already have OSF Mount on here running and what this will do is we'll mount a new drive. I'm going to select uh, the image file that we already have. It's called uh, rhinousb.dd. I'm going to select that. I'm going to leave everything as defaults. I'm going to change the drive letter to R, R for Rhino. And I'm going to leave this attribute that says read only drive because I don't want to write anything to the drive. As you can see, it was already mounted. Here's my R drive. This is the location of the image. This is the size, 247.5 megabytes. It shows that it's read-only, and it shows that it's FAT uh, partition. I'm going to exit this, and I'm going to see what's actually on this R drive. And you can see that there's Gumbo1 and Gumbo2.txt. I've already created copies of Gumbo1 and Gumbo2 on my, on my desktop. So here they are, Gumbo1. All it is is a shrimp gumbo recipe. So it's irrelevant to this investigation. I'm going to open Gumbo 2 and see that it's basically very, very similar. It's a shrimp gumbo recipe. Anybody in the mood for a shrimp gumbo? Good recipe here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Recover software. And what the Recover software has allowed me to do is just do all kinds of data carving. I'm going to select Other here because that will show me all the files that I can recover. I'm going to hit Next. I'm going to specify the location as the R drive to recover from the R drive. So here we go. And I'm going to hit next. And then I'm going to hit enable deep scan. What enable deep scan is going to do is it's going to read all of the areas of the disk as opposed to just looking on the surface or analyzing um, the header and footer of the disk. It's going to do the whole entire thing for me. It's running now. It's almost done. Here it is. And when it pops up, I'm immediately going to go to the advanced mode. And the reason why I want to go into advanced mode is it allows me to do uh, some preview on the files here. Uh, for example, I'm going to hit this JPEG right now. And in the preview, I can see the picture that it's a picture of a crocodile or an alligator. I'm not really sure which one it is. In the information tab here, I'll see that it's a JPEG. The, the path is to the R drive, what the size of it is, what the state of it is, creation time. It is basically the same exact attributes that are here. Um, there are some unrecoverable files, which we may need to use other tools for. So I'm going to select all of these guys and I'm going to hit recover and I'm going to just recover to my desktop and I'm going to make a new folder real quick and I'm just going to say recovered. I'm going to throw that right on here. Uh, as you can see the error message here says which files could not be recovered which we'll use other tools for. Okay, I'm going to close this software I'm going to look at what we actually recovered. So I'm going to it up on my desktop here and as you can see there are some JPEGs here and there are some GIFs here I'm just gonna go through them real quick pictures of alligators pictures of rhinos and then also there's a war document um, so when I open the war document and go all the way to the end I can see that the perpetrator was up to something no good and if you can read this, it says, Rhino picture is illegal, makes me sick, I hid the photos, laughing. Apparently, if there are less than 10 photos, it's no big deal. Okay, things are getting a little weird. I zapped the hard drive and then threw it into the Mississippi River. I'm going to reformat my USB key after this entry, but try not to destroy the good stuff. I need to change the password on the GNOME account that Jeremy gave me. I can probably just do that at Radio Shack. So obviously, you can see that the perpetrator was up to something no good here. 